I know it's Mother Day and some of y'all got outings and want to get with your family and some got barbecue and different things like that. But we're going to go right back to chapter 12 of St. Matthew starting at verse 25. And I said last week I was going to try to finish this message today. Who's shaking your family tree? Amen. Look at somebody and say, who's, who's shaking, shaking your family tree? Amen. Amen. Now, last week, I got into the dynamics of a tree, and we need to keep one thing in mind, that there are three kinds of trees. There are just plain trees. We're sitting on it, drinking lemonade in the shade. Amen. There are nut trees, and then there are fruit trees. Look at somebody and say, what kind of tree are you? Uh-huh. Look at somebody else and say, what kind of fruit are you? You know, fruit do grow on trees, amen, for the most part, amen? And I began to explain last week about the different types of tree. Now, we, we know that in the Garden of Eden there was a tree of life, and then there was a tree of knowledge of good and evil. Come on, somebody. And the man was uh, put in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, and they were only given one commandment, they can have any of the trees that are gotten, but that in the midst, you shouldn't bother with. Didn't sound like a, a terrible task to do, but it was difficult. Amen? Because every day Satan was trying to draw them in. Come on, somebody. And you know, the Bible talks about the tree of life in the midst of the garden. And then it's brought up again in the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Isn't that amazing how God operates? Amen. Amen. Now, I explained last week there are all kind of trees. Look at somebody and say, what kind of tree are you? What kind of tree and what kind of, you what kind of fruit you got growing on your tree? All right, now, I'm going to bring out, I'm going to flush out today. Amen. I'm going quail hunting today. Amen. One dog point it out and the other flush it out. Oh, come on, somebody. There are all kinds of trees. There's the uh, Arcadia tree, the almond tree, the uh, algum tree, the uh, loaf tree, the bay tree. There's a, there's a box tree. I never heard of a tree called box, but it's in the scripture. Box tree, there's a cedar tree, there's a chestnut, there's a cypress, there's a fig tree, there's a, there's a, a Jupiter tree, there's a basil tree. Many of y'all know what a basil tree is. You eat basil, uh, Brazil nuts every year. Around Christmas time. There are hazelnut. I like hazelnut because I like hazelnut coffee. Amen? Amen. <laughs> All right, in case you're going to buy me some coffee, I like hazelnut. <laughs> Two sugars, three creams, medium size. Amen? <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Amen? Marlboro tree, mustard tree, maple tree. Amen? And a maple tree produces maple syrup. And occasionally I got patients that come to the hospital and they bring me, when, they, when, when it's sap time and they tap the tree and the sap drop off into the bucket, they pour it from the bucket, stream it, pour it in a bottle and bring me a bottle. I, I, I like that, amen? It ain't nothing like maple syrup on your pancake. See, y'all talking the same language now. There's a myrtle tree, myrtle tree, there's an oak tree. We're gonna talk about the oak tree in a minute. There's an oil tree. And then there's an olive tree. There's a palm tree, a pine tree, a pecan tree. Come on, somebody. A pomegranate tree, a sycamore tree. There's a tile tree, a vine tree, a willow tree, a walnut tree, an apple tree, an orange tree, a pear tree, a pear tree. And a pear, and a pear tree, and a pear tree. Okay, all right. And a pear tree, and a plum tree. There's a banana tree, a cherry tree, a pineapple tree. There's amwood, dogwood, grapefruit. You didn't know there were so many kinds of trees, did you? All kinds of trees. Amen. Now, a tree has four distinct parts. It has uh, five distinct parts. It has roots. It has a stem or a trunk. It has branches and leaves. And out of leaves come fruit and nuts. You got that? Amen. Look at somebody and say, who's in your family tree? Amen. Now, you and I have to understand one thing, that there are many things that people use in reference to trees. 
Trees can be used for food. Come on, somebody. Thank God for the fruit trees and the nut trees because there were times in my life I remember if it was not for certain trees that I grew up with, I would have went through the day hungry. Come on, somebody. I talked to y'all last week about blackberries in the Brahma bush. Thank God for the blackberries, amen? Everybody knew when I went blackberry picking. Everybody. Because my mouth would be purple and my fingers would be purple. You could tell them I was picking them and eating them. Amen. And I was just saying with the wife and, 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 and my aunt said that when I went out, I always had money in my pocket. If it wasn't hustling bottles, it was picking blackberries. If it wasn't picking blackberries, it was picking plums. I always had a clean hustle. Somebody say amen now. Today, folks ain't got clean hustle. They trying to hustle you and me. But you might have to create a new commandment. Thou should not hassle the hustler. Did I say that right? <laughs> oh, no, I, I kind of slipped off the scale on that one. But let me get back up on the scale here. And, you know, it's important to understand that people say uh, the further back up in the woods you go, the more nuts you find. You know a few of them. Some use the expression, I can't see the forest from the trees. We're going to talk about that, too. And some say, you're barking up the wrong tree. And others may use the expression, we're growing, uh, we're growing uh, like branches on a tree. Amen. Amen? And what you produce will be left up to you. Amen. Somebody look at somebody and say, the fox, the fox is in the hen house. Yeah. And he got keys. And he passed him out in broad daylight. That means everybody going to have chicken tonight. What are you trying to say? I'm saying be careful that the fox is going to get your keys. Oh, my, my, my. Here in the book of St. Uh, Matthew, chapter 25. Tw chapter 12, verse 25, I'm sorry. St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 25. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to destruction, a desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If you divide it into your household, the family won't last. That's why even if mom and dad are gone, you still got to stick together. Them your only brothers and sisters in the sense of the Ephraim, even though you might have brothers and sisters in Christ. Verse 26 says, If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? This is Jesus talking now. And if by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. Verse 28 says, but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his good except he first bind the strong man? And then will spoil his house. Everybody said, watch out for them foxes. Oh, come on now. He that is not with me, Jesus said, is against me. Y'all with me on this? Yeah. And he that gathered not with me scattered abroad. Yeah. Wherefore I say unto you, all men have seen and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto man, but the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Yeah. If you don't know when the Holy Ghost is working, you better keep your mouth shut. Yeah. If you don't know how the Holy Ghost operates, and you saying it's a devil operating, you better be careful because that's blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Amen. You got to be careful when you open your mouth and talk out. Amen. He said, oh, blaspheme against, they'll be forgiven, but blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto man. Amen. That's deep now. Amen. Whosoever speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speak against the Holy Ghost, 
Everybody looked at somebody and said, don't you speak against the Holy Ghost. 